What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about five lures that you can use basically all season round. Good weather, bad weather, spring to fall, whatever it may be, whatever your situations are in pressured water, um, public areas, anything you need. These are going to be five lures that I think you guys should learn to catch a lot more fish in basically any situation. Uh, so let's get right into it with number one. So the first one that we're going to be talking about today is a lipless crankbait. There's a million different companies that make these and they're just, they catch fish. They're kind of an old classic lure. You can do so many things with this, is, which is why it's a really awesome hard bait uh, compared to, I don't have many hard baits on this list. Um, so it took a lot to pick one that's going to be good for all season round. And this is kind of one that I like to use a lot of like crankbaits and stuff. You get different versions for different depths and stuff. And there's just too many to go through. Whereas this one can be used pretty much however you need. So whether you want to burn it across shallow grass in the spring and summer to catch those active fish, or let's say you need to slow it down. You can hop it, drag it across the bottom for those finicky fall, early spring, winter fish. Um, there's just a ton of different things you can do with it, whether it's cast and reel it, you can hop it, you can yo-yo it, whatever you need. There's just so many different things that you can do with it. And being so heavy, you can let it sink down to the bottom. Like I said, you can yo-yo it off the bottom. And you can do that whether you're in two feet of water or whether you're in 30 feet of water, which is an awesome way to catch fish. And it just kind of gets those aggressive fish, but you can also slow it down, do different things, whatever you need to catch fish all year round and there's a couple different colors I like to use with this in the spring you obviously use a lot of crawfish lures and you can get like a crawfish color like this but real realistically the one that I use more often than not is a natural like minnow presentation you can get ones for whatever fish is in your lake whether you have a bunch of shad in your lake you want to match that you want to match bluegills perch whatever you need or just something like this that's a natural kind of minnow pattern it's kind of a universal bait and you can catch a ton of fish on it in all different ways which is awesome and having like that one lure like i said you can fish it multiple different ways which is awesome for catching fish throughout the season so for number two we're going to be talking about drop shotting now you can do this in a couple different ways not as many as some of the other lures on this video um, however it's just a great fish catcher especially when the fish are finicky so this is going to be your one for when the fish are the most finicky in my opinion this is always a old faithful that you can pull out and catch fish when it's tough and you can do that whether you're in five feet of water or even shallower you fish it horizontally or you can go deep water vertical jig it and fish it vertically basically you can cover any depth of water that you need you can get different size sinkers and basically all around catch a bunch of fish and there's a couple different baits that you can use for it you can use something like a little three inch swim bait this one has a paddle tail on it so you get a little bit more kick out of the water or you can go with a worm and one of my favorites and the one that i find myself using the most often is going to be a little five inch finesse worm and you can get these from all different companies one that i really like is the net bait finesse worm reason being it's dirt cheap so you can get a bunch of these different colors if you want or just the fact that you're going to catch a bunch of fish in a day on these you can go out there and catch like 50 fish a day no problem but you're going to go through baits so that's why having a affordable bait is an awesome one to use for this and it's also a great size in my opinion it's not too small that the fish are just going to swim by it without caring um, and it's not too big that it's going to have to take an aggressive fish to bite it you can basically get any fish to hit these um, any size bass whether it's a 12 inch or in a little pond or a five pounder it's a really kind of universal bait really nice and you can do different things having a bait this big you can nose hook it like your typical drop shot or you can even hook it in the middle and wacky rig it on a drop shot which is nice having that bigger size but that's going to be number two and like i said you can fish it all different kinds of seasons cold water especially this is great for and really when those fish are super finicky but again you can fish it shallow you can fish it deep and it's a simple simple technique but it's really good at catching fish in any situation for number three we're going to be talking about a texas rig and there's a million different baits you can throw on a texas rig whether it's a worm a swim bait a craw whatever it may be 
Um, but the one we're going to be focusing on today is going to be a craw. In my opinion, it's kind of a universal one. You could also go with like a creature bait, like a brush hog. These are going to be really kind of universal baits and good ones for the techniques that I'm going to be talking about with the Texas rig. So first, you obviously have a standard Texas rig. On a regular like EWG hook, it's a nice bait to catch all kinds of fish. You can get good hookup ratios with it. It's weedless, so you can fish it in any cover that you want. And you can basically change this however you want. So whether you want a different color bait on it, a different style bait, like I mentioned earlier, you can do different things with that. And you can also change up like your sinker size. That's gonna have, you know, help you out in different depths of the water and different uh, thicknesses of cover. So if you're in super thick cover, you can punch with it, or you can go with something a little bit lighter and just have that slow fall. And you can do different things. Like you can see on this one, I have a couple inches up to my bobber stop or my weight peg. And so what that'll do is it allows my bait to slowly fall the last few inches or feet, however you set that on the bottom of the water to kind of get that kicking action and a couple of my favorite baits for this are going to be one is this Rage Bug from Rage Tail. It's got four appendages that are always kicking. You've got the little flanges on these, so they kick a ton of water compared to other baits and have a lot of action, even in slow retrieves. And like I mentioned, that one has a little bit of a weight peg kind of difference. It's not right up by the hook. You've got about a foot there. You can even go a couple feet if you want. Um, if the fish are a little bit suspended and then the other kind of version or variation of this Is gonna be you can see this one. I have it all the way up and this one's gonna be more set up for flipping So if I'm bed fishing or pre-fishing, whatever it may be um, Pre-spawn fishing. I mean you can use this uh, to get a little bit more contact with the bottom so this one has the weight right up against it and this one happens to have a flipping hook but you can also use an EWG like that last one had if you only want to buy one set of hooks that would be what I'd go with and this one has the Rage Craw on the back again just like the Rage Bug it has the little kind of kicking flanges on there so those claws are always kicking in the water which is really nice and basically you can get a bunch of different weights so whether you want something more finesse you're fishing shallow water with not much structure that you have to go through you could go down to like a quarter or even eighth of an ounce sinker and then you can step up all the way if you're flipping into heavy cover with like an ounce sinker if you need but kind of like an all-around one that i like is about three eighth ounce it's kind of universal so even when i'm fishing in shallow water i can still feel it really good but then i can also go out to deep water and catch fish you know in deeper water it gets down there quick enough and it's kind of a really kind of like i said universal bait cover different water different depths of the water column and have a good bait for catching fish these also catch a lot more big fish in my opinion compared to something like the drop shot so it's another really good bait for kind of all around bass fishing now if you guys have watched many of my videos in the past you know that one lure i like a ton is going to be a jerk bait this is a super super universal bait and it covers water and straight up catches a ton of fish and one of my favorites is going to be the mega bass vision 110. yes it's going to be a little bit more expensive than some of the other jerk baits on the market however the fact that it's been in my a ton of my videos for all different situations on its own should be a good reason that having a quality jerk bait like this is going to be an awesome option but i'm also going to show you guys a couple different reasons on why i like this jerk bait as we go along here and kind of why it's one of my favorites um so this one's going to be a standard mega bass vision 110. this is like a natural minnow color you've got like a green back silver side it's going to take a ton of flash in the water it's going to reflect a ton and it has a nice rattle system in it good weighting system so it has a nice like horizontal rise to it but just your basic jerk bait right here pretty much and this is a really nice bait to cover water whether it's pre-spawn the fish are going to be going up chasing bluegills to get away from bedding areas so they don't get their eggs whatever it may be this is a really nice bait so you can fish it super fast um, with constant twitching or you can go slow it down and fish it with super long pauses and like single twitches whatever it may be there's a ton of different ways you can fish it fast slow whatever it may be for different situations whether fish are active or finicky the water's warm or cold 
And like I said, this is gonna be your basic standard version. This could probably be replaced with another standard jerk bait, whatever it may be. But the next few are gonna be kind of why I like the Vision 110. Now the second one that we're gonna be talking about with the Vision 110 is going to be the Vision 110 Plus One. So the Vision 110 Plus One, that standard one's gonna be going maybe three, four feet down in the water column. Now this one is gonna go down an extra plus one meters. So another like three foot down in the water column. And the nice thing about that is you can cover different depths of the water while still having such a universal bait that you can fish so different. And I kind of mentioned earlier that I didn't want to do like crankbaits in this video. Reason being you had to do different like depths in the water column for each crankbait that you get. The jerkbait's gonna be kind of the same way, but the reason I chose this for the video is because there's so many different ways you can fish it, and it covers a lot of water and catches fish. You can fish it slow, fast, like I mentioned. So it's really kind of bait that you can fish in so many different ways to catch fish in these different you know, situations. But yes, you do have to kind of get different depth versions for whatever you're fishing. And hopefully you guys can figure out, you know, whether you have a super steep bank, you might want a deeper one like this. Or you're fishing super shallow water, you might want that standard Vision 110. That's kind of where you guys have to go and kind of make up your mind on what one you want. But that's a nice thing that the Vision 110 offers is these different depth variation ones, which not many other jerkbait companies do. And then, like I said, so this one's going to be a natural bluegill color. So if you want something more to match your hatch, if you have a lot of bluegill in your lake versus that last one was a lot more kind of flashy, natural minnow one, whatever you need, you can do. And you can get these in like shad patterns, whatever it may be to fit your needs. And then the last one that they kind of came out for the depth variation is going to be last year's model I think they came out with, which is the Vision 110 Plus 2. So this is gonna go down an extra two meters. So you're looking down in like 12 foot of water now that you can fish a jerk bait, which you've really never been able to do before. And so if you guys have deeper water, whatever it may be, deep structure, these lures can get down to that for you and you can still fish it in so many different ways, whether it's fast or slow, whatever it may be to fit your needs and the situation that you're in. And then the last kind of thing that I like about the Vision 110 specifically is if you guys fish a lot of pressured water. So this is going to be a situation where it might be hard to catch fish and that's kind of why you're coming to this video. And one that I really like is the Vision 110 has a silent version which is awesome. Not really any other jerkbait companies have both a rattling and silent version. And so you can see here if I cover the hooks on this there is no noise with it, which is awesome. So if you're fishing those pressured fish, they've seen a million of these jerk baits with the rattles. What they haven't seen is a silent version. So this is a lot nicer for finicky fish, cold water, whatever it may be that the fish just are not biting. This is kind of my, what I step to to catch those fish. You can still cover water and find the fish, which is awesome with this, but you can catch those more finicky fish and find out what they're doing. And this one also is in kind of like a matte color. So this is the first one they ever had like that, which is the matte shad color compared to something bright and flashy like this one. And they also just came out with for 2020, a whole line of the matte colors, which is awesome. So if you're like me, you've got a lot of perch in your lake, you can get a matte perch, which is awesome. So that's something I have not picked up yet, but I'm definitely, it's on my list to pick up. And those are gonna be really money baits for this year. But this matte shad here has always been like an old faithful for me. And that silent version is another reason I like it if you guys have a tough bite and are trying to catch fish. Now the fifth and final bait that we're gonna be talking about for this video is gonna be a standard paddle tail swim bait. Now there's all different kind of versions you can get of these, whether it's different sizes, colors, whatever it may be. You can downsize if you want for more finicky fish or you, let's just say you have smaller fish in your area or you can upsize if the fish are gonna be more active, whatever it may be. These are really nice and you can fish them a bunch of different ways as I'll show you. This one here happens to be kind of a natural color and this is a Rage Swimmer from Rage Tail Baits as well. So this has a lot of nice action on it and it's gonna be a great bait. Uh, you can get different versions like the Kitex, which is another really nice one with a lot of action, but both of these are gonna be kind of your higher priced ones. So one thing if you guys are looking, um, the 
thing I don't like about spending a bunch of money on plastics is they're just gonna get tore up right away. So something like that, you can always get a cheaper version. And one that I really like that I found for a more affordable bait that still has a ton of action is this Bass Pro Speed Shad. And you can get these on sale for like four bucks, which is like half the price of some of the other ones, as I mentioned. Um, but they still have great action on them and you can get all different sizes and colors offered in them as well. So this one happens to be like a perch color. This has a lot more flash and kind of uh, glitter in it. And what I like to do, a general rule of thumb for myself, is if it's sunny out, the glitter's kind of going to be more flashy, get the fish's attention. That's kind of when I go with something like this, a little bit more, you know, action in the water and that extra color. And then when the fish are more finicky or it's cloudy, whatever it may be, I kind of downsize and go with something more natural, like this kind of flat color here. This is going to be natural like shad color, but it doesn't have a bunch of flake or anything in it that's going to be flashy. And there's a bunch of different ways, different heads and stuff that you can fish these with. You can go with something standard here. This is going to be the Mega Bass Body Balance swim bait head, and this is going to be kind of a nice standard swim bait head. Basically, cast it, reel it, whatever you want. This is a nice one. You can get them in different depths or different weights for different depths, and they're just a really basic one. They don't have a ton of extra action. You just have that nice kicking tail on the back and can get them in different colors, whatever it may be, or you can do if you're straight you're going to be fishing them on the bottom. The fish are really down low in the water column, fishing or eating fish off the bottom. You can go with like a standard football head here. And this is kind of like what I fished when I was in Lake Havasu. Those clear water pressured fish. We were using these and just dragging them really slow on the bottom of the water. And it's a great way to kind of catch those more finicky fish. It's a lot less, you can fish them slower, which is nice. And just kind of less is more in this case. And then there's different options. You can get like the Mega Bass screw head here. This is gonna be a nice like finesse one. It still has a little bit of flash and vibration on there, but it's not gonna be as much as something like a big underspin blade. So that's gonna be a nice little one. You get a little bit of vibration with it, which not many of these other heads have vibration. Um, so this is a really nice option as well. And then there's gonna be two more, one of which is gonna be a underspin. This one happens to be a six cents one. I really like the screw lock on these six cents. They really hold the bait on there good. And this one's gonna be a pretty big blade on there. So you've got a lot more flash, you've got a lot of vibration on there, and this is a really nice option as well. You can get them in different head weights as well, just like any of these other ones to cover different depths of the water. But this is gonna be probably when the fish are the most active is when I'm gonna be using this because you've got a lot of flash vibration in the water, which is really nice uh, for getting those active fish and a lot bigger fish in my opinion. And the final way that you can use these baits is gonna be on like a swim jig. It's not really, it's kind of its own bait on its own, um, but it is something that you can use once you learn how to fish a swim bait and it just has a bigger, bit of a bigger profile to it. Um, so this one's gonna be a six cents one as well. And the nice thing with these is then you can vary in color. So this one happens to be a really nice bluegill presentation with a little bit taller, kind of wider profile to give that bigger imitation of a bigger fish. And then you can get like shad ones, whatever it may be to fit your needs. This can be kind of once you get used to throwing the swim bait, you can upgrade to this and kind of get that bigger bite whatever it may be. So those are gonna be five baits that I like to use in basically any situation. So whether the water's cold, warm, pressured fish, early season, late season, whatever it may be, these are awesome options for you guys. So whether you're getting into fishing, you wanna just pick up a couple lures, these are awesome options. Or let's say you're just having a tough day on the water and wanna try something, these are always go-tos as well. And you can fish them basically all different ways, which is awesome. And they catch fish in all different situations. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up below and subscribe while you're down there. I'll also leave a link to my giveaway right here so you guys can check it out. And we will see you guys on the next video.